Hello guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the Simpsons method. The most common reason for referral to echocardiography is left ventricular function. The assessment of left ventricular function is extremely important and the base for many decisions in cardiology. Normally, we judge the left ventricular function by estimating the ejection fraction. When the function of the heart is impaired, the ejection fraction will fall. The left ventricular function is very important, but sometimes it might be difficult to assess. All these parameters are recommended to assess the left ventricular function. However, in this video, I'm going to talk about the ejection fraction by Simpson's method. But first, we have to know what represents the ejection fraction. And this is just the percentage of blood ejected from the left ventricle during systole and in relation to the total diastolic volume. Here you can see the formula of the ejection fraction by Simpson's method, which is an estimation made by volumes. You can get an estimation of the ejection fraction by using the Simpson's method. When you apply this method, you will get the left ventricular diastolic and systolic volume. And with this, you can calculate the ejection fraction by using the previous formula. If you calculate the diastolic and systolic volume just from the apical four chamber view, you will get an estimated ejection fraction using just the monoplane or single plane Simpson's method. In the biplane Simpson's method, volume is based on the apical two chamber view as well. In general, this method is more accurate and should be given preference over the single plane approach. Now I'm going to show you step by step how to estimate the ejection fraction using the biplane Simpson's method. First, find your apical four chamber view and obtain a zoom view of the left ventricle. Freeze the image at the end of diastole and trace around the endocardial border to get the end of diastole volume. Now we have to do the same but at the end of systole. So now freeze the image at the end of systole and trace around all the endocardial border to get the end of systolic volume. One plane is done, so let's do the same in the apical to chamber view. Find your apical to chamber view and obtain a zoom image of the left ventricle. Freeze the image at the end of diastole and trace the endocardium to get your end of diastolic volume. Now freeze the image at the end of systole and trace the endocardium to get the end of systolic volume. And that's it. By doing this, you will get an estimation of the ejection fraction using the biplane Simpson's method. Estimating the ejection fraction by Simpson's biplane method is more accurate than using the Teachholz method. However, always is going to be more accurate using 3D or 4D measurements. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!